Hello, now we are going to look into how to create a chat GPT account. It is like open source as we discussed in the previous session. So it is open AI. So if you wanted to uh, create an uh, chat GPT account, just uh, type open AI in the Google search engine. So it will open the first link HTTPS and then openai.com. Just click on that. It will show you all the information here about the chat GPT, the basic information. You just click here, try. The, okay, if you wanted to try. Then here I've already logged in so that it is asking, I mean it is logged in directly. But instead of that, if you wanted to log out and then log in again, let me log out and how to create a first account. I will show you. Let's say once you click on try button, then it will show you like this. If you don't have an account, if you are first time going to enter into the chat GPT, then click on sign up. Okay. So it will ask you to uh, enter your email and then if you click on continue, it will ask you to uh, enter the password. So you have to give your new password. After that, it will ask you some kind of information like first name and last name and then continue once you enter the first name last name then it will ask you to enter a mobile number so if you wanted to i mean whether if you have whatsapp number or not if you are not having then it will send you the sms that uh, code uh, okay verification code it will send you then uh, you need to enter the mobile verification code then account will get created okay so here once you and there are step by step you have to follow you need to enter email and password then continue click on it it will uh, verify first of all your email address and then it will ask you for the first name and last name then phone number then verification of phone number so then your account will get created if you already logged now you are signed up if you already have a login account then how to create it let's just go to continue then enter password okay it will take you to open a chat gpt account okay so let me enter password now click on continue so that you will be able to open your chat gpt account you see here it is it looks like this if you want a dark mode then you just have to click on dark mode if you want a light mode then click on light mode these are the features it they have provided and what is the open a discard updates this all we are going to see later on so now i'm going to enter into dark mode here you see what kind of information it will give you all the what are the limitations and what are the capabilities of chat gpt just a small examples they have given here you just see what is uh, explained quantum computing in simple terms okay just click on that if you just click on this it will give you all the information about that uh, questions whatever you ask that you uh, it will give you the information uh, let me stop generating. I don't want this now. Just clear the conversations here. If you don't want, then clear can now. Uh, you come here. What are the capabilities? It remembers what user said earlier in the conversation and allow users to provide follow-up corrections. If you miss, did any mistake, then that it, it will uh, uh, correct it. Trying a decline inappropriate request. These are the main capabilities of chat GPT. And what are the limitations? It may occasionally generate incorrect information. And also it provides harmful instructions or biased content. Okay. So see here. I inform. I mean I just mentioned in the last video. Like it have a knowledge of world and events after limited knowledge. Okay. That you need to note down events after 2021 okay so now if i want any information about after 2021 let me know i want to know movies coming up 
in 2023 what information it will give see i am sorry as of my knowledge is cut and cut off in 2021 it's not possible to know the full list of movies okay just it uh, it gives the existing information till the 2021 whatever it has that information it will give you okay so it won't give you the new movies what are released in 2023 it won't give because they have already trained till 2021 december what is the information the chat gpt has that only it can give you just uh, confirm the clear congestion now it can be misused okay because nowadays the school people are going to use this chat gpt they will ask simply question uh, like uh, uh, any kind of question like quantum law or um, any kind of principles if they want they don't want to explore the textbook that all uh, they they are not going to refer because lot of people are using a smart thinking so just go to the chat gpt and just type the question and then you will it will give you the proper information then they will copy it that's it they are not exploring more and more if you type it in google it will give you lots of questions and answers so that we can pick it up what is the information is required what is not so at least you know other things okay but here you can't be like that it will give you exact information what is required what is suitable that only you just copy and paste it over there so it, your knowledge will not get explored which is not a good thing for the people and sometimes for coders software coders it is very useful because uh, uh, now i want to write vxml code for what see what is vxml it will give you all the information what is vxml what are the tags it has uh, everything see how copy if you want to copy the code you can take it up it is giving the example also welcome to the ivr system please press one for sales two for support all the what are the tags are included what is the syntax everything it is going to generate you no need to write a sim uh, a single line also based on if your requirement you want to change any uh, kind of uh, uh, like uh, the prompts then you have to change it otherwise it will give you all the forms blocks prompts everything related to vxml syntax all the information it will generate so uh, usually it will take a half an hour time to write a single application but here it gives you in 2 minutes or 1 minute all the code you can just copy paste in your system and then use it as per your requirement so this is the just small example i given it to you okay either you can write a java okay let's ask another question fibonacci series in java it will give you see here is example how can you you implement fibonacci series in java it will see give you all the code it is going to writing which is really good thing for software coders it will save our time okay so i hope you understood well how to create a a uh, chat or uh, a gpt account and it is open source how it will be useful for the software coders and um, what is the disadvantages of using this uh, uh, chat gpt for students that's all i have explained clearly i hope so if you like this video please do like and subscribe to my channel so that you will get more updates thank you so much don't forget to subscribe thank you.